Hi, Tigers. We're going to continue talking about citizenship. We are almost done with this unit. Starting next week, we will have a whole new unit about community. Today, we're going to talk about helping others. We read a couple of stories where the characters in the story helped each other. In A Sick Day for Amos McGee, who did Amos help? And in the story The Mitten Tree, who did Sarah help? And did someone help them? Our learning target for the unit is, we can tell how to be a helpful citizen. You can say that with me. We can tell how to be a helpful citizen. Helping makes other, helping others makes you feel good inside. How do you think Sarah felt when she saw the kids with her mittens. Do you think she felt happy? How would you feel if you helped someone like that? How did Amos feel in a sick day for Amos McGee? Let's think about what happened at the beginning of each of those stories. How did Amos help the animals? And how did Sarah help the children? Then I want you to think about how did Amos end up being helped at the end? And how did Sarah end up being helped at the end? How do you think they felt at the end of the story? Helping others makes you feel good inside. Good citizens help people, animals, and the environment. We're going to look at this page. So, to be a good citizen, you could help people around you. You could help animals that you see. You can even help the environment by picking up after yourself, recycling. There's lots of opportunities for helping people right now. I know during our live session this week, a few kids have mentioned that they know someone or they have an uncle or that they've noticed how smoky the air is and that they that there's some fires going on. You could help by donating items like batteries or clothes to people who might not have it right now. You can also donate your time. You could write a, draw a picture or write a note. You could even take in some animals. I know at my daughter's farm at school, we have all of the animals from Sierra High School that had to be evacuated. And that is all being a good citizen. Today, I want you to take a look at your workbook, Lesson 9, and I want you to color in the pictures that show someone is helping someone else. Let's see, I see a little boy right up here doing laundry. I bet that's helping his mom. I see someone helping someone else out of the pool. That seems like that's helping. Hmm, hard to tell what's happening in this picture. It looks like maybe the baby's crying and the little girl is calling for help. Ooh, down here it looks like one person is working so hard and the other person's just relaxing. I see two people helping to carry a box. I see someone bringing someone else breakfast or dinner. I see someone watering a plant. Uh-oh, I see two kids who spilled some milk, but it looks like nobody wants to clean it up. And I see a little boy walking a dog. I want you to color the pictures that show someone helping. Down at the bottom where the star is, I want you to color the happy face for yes or the sad face for no. If someone asks for help, should I ignore them? If you think, yes, you should ignore them if they ask for help, then color the sad, happy face for yes. If you think, no, you should not ignore them, then color the sad face for no. The flower question is, we should help people, animals, and the environment. Do you think the answer to that is yes or no? If you think, yes, we should help people, animals, and the environment, color the happy face for yes. Or if you think, no, we don't need to help people, animals, in the environment, color the sad face for no. Okay, see you soon, tigers.